San Francisco Bay has a few issues affecting it. Uh, one is historical. So we all know about the California gold rush. Mercury uh, was used to separate gold from dirt. And so because about 40% of California runs down into San Francisco Bay, that means about 40% of the mercury being used in the state is now in the bay. Because the bay is pretty shallow, it's only about 20 foot deep on average, and we have huge ships coming through. They're constantly dredging along the bottom and kicking all that mercury back up into the system. So one thing, pollution is huge here. Also with the big ships coming in, they have ballast water, they bring from all over around the world, they bring us nice little critters and they release them into our water where they make their home. So invasive species is another big issue facing the bay today. If you look into the bay water, it collects a lot of sediment, just the geology of it, all the sediment running down is collecting here in this area. Um, so when they dredge, it kicks up. Yes, some of it might flow out to the bay, but then when the tide comes in, it might flow back in, and most of it just kind of lurks around the area. If you look into the bay water, you see green, which is plankton, it's good stuff, but you also see brown, and that's the sediment just clinging on, kind of uh, flowing around and around <laughs> right here in the bay. One great thing about Aquarium of the Bay is that we are here on Pier 39, which is known to be a tourism mecca. So we do have visitors from all around the world, all sorts of different backgrounds coming here, and we get to show them exactly what's happening in San Francisco Bay, which is a highly impacted area. So we can tell the stories of the animals here, and then we can also open it up. Uh, we have a climate change exhibit where we say, hey, these issues are not specific to the Bay. These issues are happening globally, and here's what you can do to help. So we hope that by coming and seeing the amazing animals that live in these, um, these great habitats and these sensitive habitats, that people will become aware and they'll take home these messages, and hopefully they will start to make a difference. Uh, so we have a great program here where we let any school group from the area into the aquarium for free, and we give free programs to over 15,000 school kids every year. So these groups are coming from all around the Bay Area. They come here and their eyes are just opened wide to see what lives right here in their backyard. They had no idea before they come here. So it's really exciting to be able to offer it for free. One thing that I love about working here uh, is seeing the kids and they come and they're just so excited to be here and they're so excited to meet the animals and it's the first time they're exposed to these things and to be able to integrate that with learning and to let them know that they can make a difference. We do a lot of presentations where the big message is you can help, here is what you can do. So hopefully the idea is that, you know, if kids come here, they have a great time, they fall in love with the animals, and we give them little, little everyday actions. Turning the lights off when they're not using them. All those things that really aren't difficult for a kid to do, but stick in their mind. Hopefully, that'll be the first step to making sure our future is optimistic. It's really up to each person, personal action. Because there are so many people, any individual action really does add up, and it can make a difference.